You're watching Shaw TV. I am a professional wrestling legend. My name is Raven, and what I do is painful, it hurts, and I'm a trained professional. Do not do what I do. Do not try this at home, or you'll end up in a coma. Quote the Raven, nevermore. When AJ Sanchez returned to Steel Town Pro Wrestling, he said he was coming here for one reason and one reason only. And that was to claim the Steel Town Pro Wrestling Tag Team titles. In order to do that, I had to find myself a tag team partner. So what I did was I scoured high, I scoured low, and I found the best, the absolute best man for the job. Now this man is the only Steel Town Pro Wrestling Triple Crown Champion. And I'd like to bring him in at this time. So my tag team partner, ladies and gentlemen, this man right here, La Samba, bring it on in, buddy. Tag team partners. AJ Sanchez, let me tell you something. Not only am I proud, not only am I humble to be your partner, but I can tell you something. I know your record, I know your speed, and I know your talent, and I know that you and I will wreak havoc amongst this locker room and amongst any other wrestlers and opponents out there. So you know Whoever what? is coming their way, we're gonna take him on. There's only one thing left to say. Sicko, son of sicko, you better watch out. There's a new tag team on the prowl, and you better bet that we are going to become the Steel Town Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you watching this. Have you ever dreamed of being a pro wrestler, manager, referee, or a valet? Or do you want to work behind the scenes in the world of pro wrestling? Well, Steel Town Pro Wrestling has an opportunity for you. The SPW Training Camp is open and accepting applications. Our ring veterans will teach you everything you need to know about surviving in the business. So get off the couch, pick up the phone, and call 785-8762 or email steeltownprowrestling at gmail.com and we'll find out if you have what it takes to make your dreams come true. This is uh, El Dorado here on SPW debut against Marius. You don't know where I'm coming from. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Steel Tail Pro Wrestling TV. I am Stan the Hammer Keys, and I'm joined by a very special guest on this week's episode, Manitoba Wrestling Night Club, beautiful Bobby J. Well, thanks for having me. It's an honor for all of you people on SPW Television to have Bobby J, the sexiest man alive, wait in your living room and call the match. Not only do we got beautiful Bobby J, we're starting things off hot and heavy with a Steel Town Pro Wrestling provincial title match. Marius defending against El Morado. El Morado, I think I bought a talk off when I was down in Puerto Rico last week. El Morado sent to us from the country of Mexico a strong Lucha Libre background, but those arm drags and planches are doing him no good as Marius kicks him in the head. Very impressive this Marius is, but I gotta ask you, isn't that referee dancing game? I think that's Dancing Fabe. Dancing Fabe, where he looks lost. He must be Dancing Gabe's brother. And Marius with a near fall early on in this contest. El Morado sent from the country of Mexico on a learning excursion here at the Selfie Memorial Hall, and he's learning to take a beating right now. That's right. Marius is the teacher, and the student is taking a beating. Marius leaving El Morado black and blue. Just measuring him up, punishing him. Bring El Morado to his knees. Like I said, black and blue. You don't know about the black and blue. The black and blue ball, Bobby J. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Duggan. Stand the hammer keys alongside Bobby J. And the action is getting hot and heavy once again as they're going to the top rope. Marius better watch out or he's gonna get the El Burrito. Oh! El Morado tripping on the second rope, smashed his face into the canvas, and Marius is taking charge. That's what happened when a rookie tried to do a man's job out there. It looks like it's gonna be all over. Ring the bell, your winner, and still provincial champion, Marius. An impressive victory for Marius. I don't think anyone's gonna stop him in his long reign as provincial champion. 
Marius sending a message loud and clear to any contender in the locker room. He's here to be champion and be champion for a long time. When these chains come off, people will be scared. This is Hawk the greatest WWE Intercontinental Champion of all time, and I'm representing Steel Town Pro Wrestling, and for all of you people out there, fans and kids and everyone, please, let's don't do the drugs, okay? No drugs. Do you like to watch wrestling TV? And you need to check out the Steel Town Pro Shop for all the latest SPW TV releases featuring the stars of Steel Town Pro Wrestling and superstars of the ring, such as the British Bulldog, Raven, Rick the Model Martel, Austin Reigns, and more. Log on to SteelTownProWrestling.com. <laughs> and we are back here on SPW Television and do not adjust your television sets. That is right, we have two men with steel chairs in their hands swinging like baseball bats. Chip Fletcher, he's known as the hardcore kid, three-time SPW hardcore champion. Wow, what a way to come back from commercial break. Two men with steel in their hands and swinging for the fences. Of course, Samuel known for bringing out that barbed wire baseball bat, but worse yet, he's got the mistress at ringside. Worse yet, an open get much worse than that suplex on a steel chair. And this is just in the opening 30 seconds of the contest. Well, that's why they call him the hardcore kid. Because he's hardcore. Well, he's definitely living up to his moniker. Well, he may not be a kid physically, he's a kid at heart. And you just saw it. a big DDT onto the chair. Look at that, I think the chair is stuck to him. That could be a concussion on behalf of Samuel. And three! Whoa! Chip Hardcore Kid Fletcher making short work of Samuel and retaining the... Well, he's not done yet. He's a hardcore, look at him, he's got that barbed wire baseball bat. That's not hardcore, that's extreme. Hardcore, extreme, it's all about Chip Fletcher. Chip Fletcher sending a message to each and every member of the locker room who wants to get in the ring and contend for his title. He's not a man to mess with. You're watching Shaw TV. Ladies and gentlemen, the Steel Tail Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title is going to be on the line. Rob Stardom, look at the determination. He knows, he knows in his heart, he is the best in the territory. And he wants to prove it, he wants the prestige that comes with carrying the title belt. Whether he knows it, he definitely believes it. But he's gonna have his work out for him. Are you suggesting, Stan, that knowing something and believing it aren't the same thing? It could be two completely different things. Uh, we will engage in some discussion of existentialism on another episode of SPW, perhaps right now. It's time. The 25 year veteran, the SPW champion, Jethro. Oh, what is that? 
James Beaver. Beaver with the, with the, what could be called the sneak attack, an extension of what he did last time out, and all oh, hog into the post. Vicious attack on behalf of James Beaver. These two men have been going back and forth for weeks now. The Englishman engaging in a full assault. Those left hands. Ladies, it doesn't look like we're gonna see ourselves a heavyweight title match anytime soon. He just, he just pie faced lamb chop, which I think is uh, beyond the bounds of good taste. Oh, and now. Luckily, the referee with the baseball cap is here. He has authority and he's gonna use it. The striped shirt crew, look at this. Oh, oh, he let that. Well, that's a rough way to make a living, as he used to say. That the referee's on Dream Street. And Beaver is heading for the exit. He's taking Lamb Chop with him. Right out the door. We've got a kidnapping. We've got to go. Rob Stardom having some difficulties with the microphone, adding to his frustrations. Jethro Hogg's in a, in a... Jethro Hogg is in bad condition, Marty. This is a very difficult scene. We've had a kidnapping on the one end of the building. A referee stunned. We've seen an assault, a kidnapping, but we haven't seen our championship match. And Stardom's making a very valid point there. A very valid point. You know, the intimidation may or may not work on Dave King. He doesn't really have a lot of influence. But Oh, wrestling fans, as you can see, there's a little bit of a different look going on with Johnny Devine right now. That's because I've taken a little bit of time off. I've refocused, gone back to my roots, gone back to the mountains of Alberta, living in the wilds, getting in touch with the savage me. And you're going to see a slightly different Johnny Devine from now on. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm going to have fun. And if it's at your expense, that's too friggin' bad, isn't it? Why? Because I can. If you don't like it, learn to love it. The Stampede City Shogun takes a backseat to no one. Listen up, there's not a moment to spare. It's quite a drop from the top, so how you feeling down there? It's a cold, cruel, harsh reality. Caught, stuck, here with your enemies. You know what? I'm running through guys one by one here in SPW. I'm knocking them down easier than you can say one, two, three. McAllister, you're on my last nerve, and I'm gonna break you down like the Germans break down everybody in their way. Just wait, your time is coming near. And it is now time for our main event. And what a main event we have. We've got the German Sugar Job, Moses Luke, ready for battle. We've seen Moses Luke on SPW TV score some victories in the past weeks. Just look at this man. Now let's head to the back with Robbie McAllister. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Dirty Nasty Truth. I am your humble host, Mr. Nasty, and you are now a part of the Nasty Nation. And I have the honor today of introducing to you my special guest, former WWE superstar, Robbie McAllister. Come on in, Robbie. How's it going, Mr. Nasty? I'm Robbie. <laughs> Pretty good. I am so pumped to have you here today. I'm stoked. Let's have a seat. I got a little few questions for you. Right, sure, certainly. Now, from what I remember, you're a bit of a tag team specialist. That's now right. I find you out here in Steel Town Pro Wrestling in the singles division. What brings you our way? 
Well, let me tell you something. Steel Town Pro Wrestling, great place to work, great place to wrestle, great talent. So I've come here to Steel Town Pro Wrestling to take championship from one Mr. Maddies. Whoa, right. whoa, hang on a second there. Like, I appreciate you're a former WWE superstar, but you're coming into Steel Town Pro Wrestling. There's guys like myself who've been here a long time, and another individual I know you have a match with. His name is the German Juggernaut, 300 plus pounds of Moses Luke. How can you look past this man? Well, you know, I've seen Moses Luke here in uh, Steel Town Pro Wrestling. Very big individual, and I'm not counting him out because he's a tough man. But you know what? Robbie's been all over the world, and he's ready to take him out. Because he won't. What's it? You Whoa. think you got? You think you deserve a championship match? This is my provincial title. You think you deserve this? That's what, because you're a former WWE star? Huh? No, because you're a cheater. I've come to Steel Town. Whoa, Whoa, those are some heavy words calling him a cheater. This man is the 2012 Wrestler of the Year. Wrestler of the Year. Two-time provincial champion, and I've already beaten you. And if you want a shot against me, you're going to have to do like everybody else. And that's earn it. And I'll tell you right now, boys, this is a talk show. This is not the ring. You can air your grievances, but there is nothing happening here today. I said I what I had to it. say. You come after me, you earn it. You're going down two more times. I'll beat you again if I have to. You know what, Marius? Big mouth, big words, but I'm coming. I'm bigger, and I'm beating you. Well, thanks for being on the show, the first guest, and stirring the pot right off the oh, bat. Of course, I'm stirring the pot. We will be back. The opinions expressed on the program you are watching are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of the station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. Some strong words from Robbie McAllister, and now we're getting ready for a strong fight. Robbie McAllister sure has one mouth on him. I don't think he has much of a chance against Moses Luke. Moses Luke's a big man, but he's lost weight in the past few months, so now he's not only big and strong, but he's fast and agile too. This match must be a match that's of special interest to you, because that's a man that is coming for your SPW provincial title. Before. It's not really a special interest. I've defeated it already. I don't think I need to defeat him again. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. We saw it. We saw it clear. Marius with the victory, with the feet on the ropes to defeat Bobby McAllister. He's looking to avenge that loss any day now. That's the angle you were watching as both men looked to lock up. This time you're going to ask for a match. You've got a Scott and a German. It's an international affair. You're watching Shaw TV. I hope there's no international objects used. I want to see this match down the middle. I'm a big fan of matches with no cheating, no uh, chicanery. Give me a break. And we saw Moses Luke make the same mistake we saw Marius yourself make against. Robbie McAllister trying to attack that big, strong skull. Well, his head is a little harder than I thought. I thought it was a little concussed after those headbutts. And luckily, I got my bearings. You know, I'm pretty good at it. And Robbie McAllister on the arm of the German juggernaut. And down he goes. Very rarely do you see the German juggernaut down to a knee, wincing in pain. But Robbie McAllister's in firm control. You don't often see a German down on one knee, but he's gonna have to be careful because I heard that Moses Luce's great-great-grandfather invented the German suplex. Oh, really? Well, I'm not sure for sure, but that's what I've been told. What breaking news here on SPW Television, we have a history lesson. And Robbie McAllister's getting a lesson, and what happens when you get in the ring with a German juggernaut? Moses Luke has no remorse. He'll go to the eyes. He'll go down below the belt if he's got to. Ooh. I think that was a little low for Robbie McAllister. Wow, what a forearm. Just clubbing away. Oh. That's a real strong bad man in the kilt. And he's taking it to Moses Luke. Oh, Moses 
this loop just gets out of the way in time. Big elbow to the back of Robbie McAllister's head. What a back and forth contest. It looks like the front of his head is pretty hard, but not so much the back of it. And Moses Luke charging in, and out of the way goes Robbie. Oh, wait a minute, he's all the way to the top here. Come on, why isn't the ref counting this? And Robbie McAllister. And bombs away. Are they counting it Scottish? Oh, and a hot shot right across the top rope. Bombs away, you said? It looked like it. Decapitation on behalf of Moses Luke. This could be over and be over fast for Robbie. All he's gonna do is set him up on those shoulders and hit that big move, and it's gonna be over. Moses Luke smart, grounding Robbie McAllister and just beating him down. Dirty amateur tactics with the forearm ground into the face. If Robbie McAllister wants to fight to live another day and challenge for that provincial title. He's tapping there, I think but Robbie McAllister's tapping. No, he's definitely not tapping out. He's rallying the people. Robbie McAllister fights for these people. And now he's on his feet. Come on, these people are idiots. Robbie McAllister, the sunset flip. Wait a minute, just sit down, Moses Luke. Yo! Yes, there you have it. Moses Luke making a statement here tonight. He's showing he's here to play in SPW. Now Robbie McAllister knows how Damien felt when Earthquake just sat on his face. Robbie McAllister in a world of trouble. Oh no! And so is Moses Luke. The tide has turned once again. I think the referee should call a timeout here. And both men fatigued fighting back and forth in the center of the ring. Oh, oh, and down goes Robbie. Moses Luke, there you go. Puts his weight into it. I must say, I am impressed. I knew Moses Luke was gonna come in here and put up a fight, but I did not think he would take it to a star of the caliber of Robbie McAllister the way he has tonight. It has been beautiful. It looks like it's gonna be another loss for Robbie McAllister. If Moses Luke could get this job done, you're gonna owe that man a beer. Well, maybe we'll both go for beers and celebrate the death of Robbie McAllister in Steel Town Pro Wrestling. He's not dead yet! Robbie McAllister! No! He just came a little bit closer. Moses Luke with that beautiful takedown on Robbie McAllister. Missed, missed leg drop. These two men laying it on the line tonight. This is the kind of action we become accustomed to seeing in Steel Town. McAllister's out on his feet. He doesn't stand a chance. He's just barely getting out of the way. Oh, wait a minute. Great ring awareness by Robbie McAllister. Ducks the clothesline. Flying shoulder tackle. I don't know about this. Oh, and a hammer. Scottish hammer. Another hammer. Robbie McAllister putting his hammer down on Moses Luke. You'd think he was MC Hammer or something with all those hammers. Moses Luke taking his time, those smart move here. He's gonna, oh wait a minute, oh yes. Spy Buster, once again, just like that, Moses Luke back on top. Moses Luke goaded him in, you see how smart he was. He goaded him in and hit him with that big spine buster. Moses Luke's gotta go for a pin here. He's wasting valuable time. He hit the most impact of a move. He's hit all match, and he's going to the top rope. He's got bigger plans. He definitely has some bigger plans. And I said earlier, with all that weight loss, he's more agile. And look at this going all the way to the top rope. He's taking too much time here. I don't know if the ropes can hold him, but here he is perched up at the top. Moses Luke getting ready. And he ascends through the air. He misses. Too much time was wasted. Oh my goodness, I think his spine just shot through his midsection. I don't think Robbie McAllister knows where he is right now, but he knows he has to fight. That instinct is kicking in. I can't believe the ring didn't collapse with McAllister here. Oh no. Oh, and down wow. he goes. One, two, and three. Oh. Robbie McAllister has sent a message, a strong message to you, Marius. He is coming for the provincial title. He's not coming for uh, you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us for another edition of SPW TV. James B.
Beaver, you've been a thorn in my side for way too long. It's time to finish this, boy. Things are going down, and it's going to be you, not me. This is it. You're done. Chap Rohawk, I am tired of you sticking your nose in my business where it doesn't belong. So how about this? Marche, your hometown. Modern Manitoba, you're in specialty. Cowbell match. You got cowbell, I'm going to knock you out with it. James Beaver, you want to back jumping, son? You want to you wanna have it tough? Well, you got it tough. Down home tough. Pen in the Valley tough. Right in my hometown of Martin, Manitoba, we're going to have us a cowbell match, son. And I'm going to beat you from pillar to post. It's going to be so much fun, I can hardly wait. Let me tell you something. Bobby McAllister, not too happy right now. You all saw it. Right up here on TV, right on Shaw. That man is that no good. I don't even... I can't even say it is TV and this family friendly. But guess what there is? You put your feet on the ropes. And next week, I challenge you for that provincial slap. Championship, whatever. And I'm coming for it. And I'm taking it. That's it. I'm coming. The opinions expressed on the program you have just watched are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of this station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. 